European traders, Privateer FX, coming to you on the morning of Thanksgiving from Central Europe. So, not, not as much of a big deal. Normal trading session for Europeans today will be less participation this afternoon, obviously, while the Americans are eating their turkey. We got some uh, European data. Final Q3 GDP in 20 minutes out of Germany, and then we have some uh, manufacturing PMI. Uh, it at 10 o'clock this morning. I mention that because we had uh, some dollar selling after the minutes yesterday, lowering expectation for next year's rise in rates, even though the December hike is now 100% stuck in. Let's just look at how the charts look now, and we've broken some key and some interesting levels. I just want to talk real quickly about it. Uh, the t today, the 200-day moving average in dollar Swiss is 98.05. People are, are long dollar Swiss, and they've been trying to be long dollar Swiss all year. U.S. rates moving up, Swiss rates stuck negative um, I don't see any reason why there won't be any more pain here um, so any move through 9805 especially through 98 the figure I think we can probably see uh, down to 9770 um, so Careful on the dollar Swiss looks like more pain ahead. On a purely technical note, if you were to be a buyer and in a camp where you wanted to buy dollars here, this would be a very good risk reward situation. I don't like it, but if you buy down here 98 figure 10 and leave a stop at 97, 98, you know, you're using this 200 day moving average as support. Uh, looks like it's going to break to me, but free world out there. You saw yesterday dollar yen broke its 200-day moving average at 111.73. We are uh, selling rallies on dollar yen today, using this as resistance now. So anywhere between 35 and 75, we'll try and sell dollar yen today. Looking for less exaggerated ranges. More importantly than either of those charts is now this Euro chart here. All of a sudden we're right looking back at this 138.60 level. This was the high, as you all remember, after the breakup of that trend line from uh, mid-November. A break of this and then ideally a break of 138.80 is going to catch people sleeping. Uh, and Euro could go a lot higher. So this is a classic CTA type trade. You want to wait at least until we make a new high from Asia, which was 38. But ideally, just wait. Uh, and if you see prices above 60, get long. Put your stop below 38, which was today's high. Uh, maybe even add through 82 for for aggressive people, but remember vol is pretty low, so careful on the adding at 82. But this looks uh, this looks pretty interesting. Cable also, we have a similar type of uh, horizontal resistance, 133.42. Big strong day yesterday um, after like a whole lot of just average news from the budget. Through 40, uh, and then all of a sudden, we are going to say hello to this trend line, 134.56. So, in general, we're sellers of dollars today. We're going to fade the dollar yen. We are going to break trade the euro. On the cable, we will probably just watch. It's kind of the same trade. Um, but if we do anything, it might be a uh, low risk break trade. Good luck, everyone. I will not see you at the New York Open because we are having uh, Thanksgiving lunch here with some of my European pals. I will see you tomorrow morning at the European Open.